Okay, I would like to show you how to change tools in a mill. To do so, I want to talk about the tools themselves. A drill bit often goes in a drill chuck. If you use an end mill, end mills go in a collet. The reason is, is because a chuck's designed to take the force in that direction, and a collet can take the force sideways, which is the way an end mill will cut. So to put a tool up into the machine, I like it about that deep. And then I'm going to line up this keyway with a keyway that's up inside that spindle. So I just rotate it until it lines up, and then I can push the collet up into the spindle. And if the spindle, or if the quill, is all the way up, I can then tighten the drawbar, which is up on top of the machine right here. Tighten this by hand, and then with a wrench, I can finish tightening it. However, when I turn this, the entire spindle is moving. So what I want to do is put the brake on, right here, this is the brake. I push on it, I can then tighten up the drawbar and in turn tighten up the tool. Loosen this, come back, tighten it up a little bit more. At that point, I'm going to remember to take the wrench off the top of that machine and put it down either on the table or in the back of the machine. Now I can set my stop here to make a cut on my aluminum. When I'm ready to take the tool out, I lift the quill all the way up, loosen this draw bar by putting on the brake, loosening it, turning it two or three turns. Then tap on the top of this nut right here, the top of the draw bar, and then I let the tool release. At that point, I can then finish unthreading it and have the collet drop completely out. And that's it. That's how you change a tool in the mill.